you. Praise the Lord. If you are alive, awake, at a lurch, and waiting for something, I said, Praise the Lord. The name of Jesus will do wonders in your life tonight. At the mention of that name, blessings from heaven, salvation from heaven. Amen. Deliverance and healing from heaven. When I mention the name and you mention the name and we come together in the unity of faith, explosion of miracle. In your life, I said in your life, your family, the community, everyone here, everyone online, tonight is the night of wonders. And the Lord will do it. He will effect it in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. All that sorrow, suffering, sickness, everything you've been carrying about, tonight is the land to offload. Amen. And everything will come out of your life. Amen. Wonders of wonders Amen. coming from heaven upon your life. Amen. Where is the career of miracle tonight? online everywhere you find yourself as the word comes to you and this great power the same god the god who has not changed he says i am god i change not as he did it in the days of old he's going to do it in your life tonight father in the mighty name of jesus we thank you because that name holds power that names works wonders and i pray tonight in every life spirit soul and body everything around us your wonder working power will come and light bridge everyone in jesus name i pray lord as you are god of all people all flesh none will go empty-handed from here tonight in jesus name in every nation where the word comes the wonder will follow in every person on every person where the word comes your wonders will follow tonight in jesus name confirm your miracle working power in every life Thank you, Lord, because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. And there's some people at for location shout a great amen. God bless you. You can see down. We're coming to Isaiah chapter 8, and I'm reading from verse 18. Isaiah. Chapter 8, we're looking at verse 18. It's talking about the children of God. Because tonight, I'm talking on God's transformed children. Possessing signs and wonders. God's children. The children of the Almighty. Number one, by creation. Number two, by redemption. Because we come through Christ, the only begotten Son of God. And we come to God, He invited us, and we have come. And He says, as we come, we will be for signs and wonders. I will be for signs and wonders. I say, chapter 8, verse 18, Behold, I and the children whom God, the Lord, had given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts, which dwelleth in Mount Zion. He dwells with us. We dwell with him. And we refer to as his children. And because we are his children, it says we are for signs and for wonders in our nation you are for signs and wonders there's no way somebody can be a child of god so there's no way god the creator the most high can dwell 
with somebody and in somebody there's no way that christ the savior the redeemer and the wonder walking transformer redeemer will live with somebody and then there'll be no sign there'll be no wonder all you need is to come to christ and to be connected with christ and tonight signs and wonders will start in your life in Hebrews chapter 2, it's, it tells us from verse 13. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 13, verse 13, again, I will put my trust in him. That's all you need to do, that you put your trust, you put your confidence, you put your faith in him. What kind of faith is that? That he died for you on the cross of Calvary. That he bore all your shame, all your sin, all your suffering. That he bore and he carried all your load. That heavy load is taken away tonight. And he says, and again I will put my trust in him. And again, behold, I am the children. Look at that now. This is Christ now talking. The first one I read to you in Isaiah. That's what Isaiah talking says. I and the children whom God has given me were for signs and for wonders. And now we lift it up from Isaiah. Take it from the mouth of Isaiah. And now Jesus the Son of God, Jesus, born of a virgin, Jesus, a child is born, and a son is given, and the government of your life, and the government of every nation, and the government of the world shall be upon a shoulder, and the zeal of the Lord shall make it happen. And now we come to the New Testament, it says, here is what Christ is saying Behold, I and the children which God has given me. You are for signs. No doubt you are for wonders. People will look at you and they will wonder. Look at them. I saw yesterday. It was lame, was crawling on the ground. And then they see you now. You are standing like I'm standing. You're walking like I'm walking, and then they say, and they wonder, and uh, some of them just look at you, and they say, I can't understand. They will not understand the great miracle that passes understanding coming upon your life tonight in Jesus' name. Some people will come and ask you and say, "Are you, Mr. I see. I used to see you on the road there, and you are crawling on all four. Are you the same person now? How come you are standing? How come you are walking? How come you are strong? You'll say, I am the man. But you know, yesterday I was the child of a powerless idol. But now I came to Christ. I'm a child of God and he changed everything tonight, tonight for you. For you. I said for you and for all my brothers and sisters and all our listeners all over online for you. A great miracle is going to take place. I will put my trust in him and again behold I and the children which God has given me. Today I'm talking to you on God's transformed children possessing signs and wonders. I rejoice with you. After this meeting tonight, life will not remain the same. And by tomorrow, when we see you, we'll see the wonder of God upon your life. The wonder of salvation. The wonder of renewal and recovery. The wonder of restoration. The wonder of recovery. The wonder of healing. The wonder of total freedom and complete deliverance. Let somebody help me shout, Amen! God's transformed children possessing signs and wonders. I'm dividing this message to three parts. You know that's what we always do. Number one, number two, and number three. And I need to explain to you. Number one, 
where we were we, we need to remember where we were the lord always reminded the children of it said where they were he said you were in egypt and you were working without pay and you were slaves to the taskmaster of the egyptians and then he'll move from the past he'll move to the present he'll say see now i've born you from there i've taken you from there and i you are going to fly on eagle's wings and then after telling them the past and the present then he tells them the future but the great work he will do that's why i start from the past the past woe and then i come to the present wonder and then i come to what will follow work the work of the lord in your life the lord has worked on you that's why you were created but now it's going to do a new work in your life i cannot wait to see what you will become after the wonder working power of the lord will come upon you tonight number one is woe number two is wonder and number three is walking the full thing and number one the woefulness of transgressing tongues of the religious number two is the wonder from transformed tongues of the righteous number three the workings of the triumphant tongue of our redeemer let's look at number one number one is talking about the woefulness of transgressing tongues of the religious now as we look at ourselves, uh, we, we have to accept the fact. You go to a village and you say, has anybody been born here? That sh I, I, when he was born, he went through life here in the village, here in the town, here in the city, anybody in the nation, that from the beginning to the very end of life, no tears at all no weeping at all no suffering at all can you give me somebody in this city can you give me somebody in this audience who has never cried never 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 cried nothing negative has ever happened and we search and we search we cannot find anybody that that means that all of us who have gone through the period of woefulness look at isaiah chapter 6 and i'm reading from verse 5 isaiah chapter 6 verse 5 then said i woe is me here is a prophet here is a preacher and even the preachers and the pastors are not exempted even the people who are priests and bishops they are not exempted even fathers and mothers are not exempted and their children too we who are their children were not exempted everyone here is what he says woe is me for i am undone i am undone i am undone when somebody you know just uh, throws the hand up and he says i am undone everything good that god had done in my life now i am undone it says i am lost it, it says i'm blown to pieces it says there is nothing desirable in my life because i am undone then he gives us a word there he wasn't ignorant he said because i am a man of unclean lips look at that i am undone i know the reason why i know the reason for the woe i know the reason for the suffering i know the reason for the untangling dismantling scattering of my life i know why i am undone because i am a man of unclean lips and so something has to change and now you couldn't be talking about other things why it was undone i'll tell you i'm undone because number one of unclean lips uh, is anybody there who has never spoken any wrong word never told a lie never deceived never 
exaggerated i never said anything unclean anything improper anything either you are angry and then you said something and now you regret you lost something important because of the way you used your lips i'm undone because of unclean tongue unclean tongue unclean language you said what you shouldn't have said to somebody you shouldn't have said that everybody has done that and our lives all the time we manifest that unclean language unclean lips unclean heart because it is out of the heart the mouth speaks you know the the heart is unclean the heart is negative the heart is not positive the heart is not progressive and the heart is not happy and because of that stage of the heart unclean heart unclean words come out and because of unclean thoughts i am undone because i'm a man a woman a boy a girl of unclean lips unclean mouth unclean language unclean heart unclean thoughts it's because we think wrong we think in the dark we think of evil and some people even think of evil against themselves why am i here they're thinking why shouldn't i die the children of Israel, that was their problem the heart became unclean because the thoughts were unclean i want to go i want to where you go if you go if you kill yourself you're going to go to hell because the lord said thou shalt not kill whether yourself or your neighbor or anybody because of unclean thoughts that's why we're done that's why our lives are upside down because of unclean acts unclean action the thought in our heart will produce the acts and the action how many people here will say i never did any wrong unclean negative act or action in my life i'm sure you understand somebody gets angry and gets furious or even when somebody gets confused that he doesn't look left from right and he does not think before he leaves and they taught us long long ago they say look before you leave think before you speak we don't and because we live lives like that and we have unclean acts unclean action and that's why we have problems and then we have unclean habits the habits we have developed and we have gathered all over the years we have unclean habits and when you put everything together we have unclean character unclean life and now we need to understand why do we have woe in our lives why do i have to say woe is me i'm suffering i go out i'm suffering i stay inside i'm suffering i look up i'm suffering i pray i'm suffering and i'm trying to quote the bible to kind of build up myself i'm still suffering why why do i say why do you say why do we say that we are having woeful situation on our hands in our families in our places of work woe is me for i am undone because 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 i am a man of unclean leaves and then i go around maybe somebody has solution because look at me look at my situation i'm down down and down and going down and down all the time let me search among my neighbors let me search among our church people let me search among our religious people whether somebody has discovered the way out of war and then he says i look here i look there i look everywhere he says i dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips their problem is my problem my problem is their problem i suffer they suffer i'm sorry 
sorrowful they are sorrowful and it's because we're all of unclean lips unclean language unclean heart unclean thoughts unclean action unclean character unclean habit unclean life all of us were in the same sinking boat and then it says for my eyes have seen the king and i want is holy 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 is god the lord of hosts i like to go there i'd like to be with him the lord eternity and as the angels came and i saw that revelation of the holiness of god the whiteness of god the glory of god the wonder of god it's like i should join them i cannot join them because woe is me because i am undone and i am a man and of unclean leaves and I dwell in the midst of, an, of the people of unclean leaves what I see the glory I see and the power I sense and everything available that I will join the host of heaven I cannot because of the uncleanness in my life but is there any way is there anything that can be done so that the woe and the woefulness and the suffering and the sickness and the disease that everything will be wiped away out out of my life yes tonight transformation will come the change will come i want to go to heaven i want to be with the lord when he comes i want to be able to sing the song of the righteous in glory and with unclean lips and with unclean life with unclean language with un unclean heart and unclean action and unclean lifestyle i cannot but god will reverse the situation in your life every good thing we have lost because we are undone the Lord will bring back to your life everything that we have suffered because we are undone and because of our leaves unclean heart unclean life unclean the Lord will restore good things into your life let somebody shout amen it will happen to us in Jesus. I'm coming to, I'm coming to point number two now. Point number two, we're looking at the wonders. If somebody there, help me shout wonders. If you want that wonder in your life, shout it aloud. Wonders. The wonders from transformed tongues of the righteous. Please understand the tongue. It's just like, you know, tissue. The tongue is just like, you know, flesh and blood, you know, together. There is the tongue can't say anything without the brain giving it the word. Then if we're going to have transformed tongues, we're going to have transformed brain, transformed mind. And it says out of the heart at the issues of life. It's not just the tongue. When the Lord wants to bring blessing into our lives, he transforms our heart. It transforms our thoughts. And we used to think, maybe I will die young with all the dreams I have and with all the circumstances of life. Maybe I will die young, but you came here so that your heart is transformed. Your thoughts are transformed. I will not die young. I said, I will not die young. With long life will it satisfy you. But you know, that verse I quoted now has to jump out of the Bible and then come into your heart. And from your heart, it will come through your tongue. The heart always dictates what the heart, what the tongue, what it says. And so, as we're going to have did you hear my language i didn't say if you are going to have because you are going to have yeah. i said as we're going to have a transformed tongue a transformed heart 
will have to start and then transform thoughts all the thoughts of your life that used to you know the thoughts will travel there and the thoughts will imagine death and imagine poverty and imagine suffering and imagine all those negative things now the change is going to come you will have a change of heart tonight a change of thoughts tonight a change of position tonight a change of possession tonight you will carry miracle go home and then everything has turned around number two the wonders from transformed tongues of the righteous we're looking at isaiah chapter 6 and i'm reading from verse 6 it says in verse 6 then flew one of the seraphims unto me there are people that do not confess what they are going through but isaiah confessed he said i am undone because i am a man of unclean lips he said and i dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips he made the confession immediately the confession came out the lord sent an angel to touch him tonight as you tell the lord the truth about your life oh lord look at where i am look at where i've been look at what i've been suffering i smile on the outside but i know what i'm going through as you confess that to the lord tonight the power of transformation will come to you immediately it says then flew one of the seraphims unto me having a life cool in his hand which he had which he had taken with tongues from off the altar now the angel didn't go to any church building to go and take that from their altar he didn't go to any religious denomination to go and take that from the altar he is uh, his angel and the angels don't have denomination and they don't have religious assembly he took that from the altar of heaven upon your life tonight something good something great something irreversible and something powerful is coming from the altar of heaven Heaven, to your life tonight in Jesus name and it says he put it on, look at verse 7 in verse 7 he said and he laid it upon my mouth he laid it upon my mouth and said lo this has touched thy leaves you know what he had confessed a man of unclean leaves and now the fire the fire now you are thinking of the fire you know about you know there's another kind of fire on the day of pentecost they were all seated in one place and there was a rushing mighty wind and then it says tongues like as of fire like as of fire it's not our own kitchen fire it is the fire of heaven that will come and burn every chaff out of your life tonight in jesus name and everything 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 even like a mountain the mountain the fire of the lord will come it will smite that mountain in your life shatter that mountain in your life and the wind of the holy ghost will blow on that thing everything will be carried away to the sea of god's forgetfulness it will never be remembered against you anymore in jesus name and it says thine iniquity is taken away thine iniquity is taken away uh, do you remember what i say i confess i am a man of unclean lips and i dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips and the angel did not say their iniquity had been taken away why they didn't confess that they were comfortable with their unclean lips unclean language unclean thoughts unclean habit unclean heart unclean action unclean character they were comfortable with that they didn't make any confession the man that made the confession that told the lord here is what i am i want a change i want a transformation that's the one the angel addressed and said this as taught thy leaves thine iniquity is taken away thy sin purged somebody shout amen 
tonight as we come to the Lord and say Lord here is who I am I, I understand now I understand all the bad bad things that have been happening all the evil things that have been happening that have been happening and I wanted to get out of them and I could not I understand it's because of my lips my language my heart my habit my action is because of the sin that I've been doing that are not good in your sight, that are acts of iniquity, acts of transgression, acts of sinfulness in my life. That's why all those things have been happening as you confess immediately, God will forgive you immediately God will change your life immediately everything called iniquity and sin and transgression will be purged in Jesus name and then the power of God will visit you there this one that we're talking about you are the possessor and the carrier and the taker he is the giver you are the taker and you'll take that one day away tonight in jesus name and, and see what we'll do jeremiah chapter 32 in jeremiah chapter 32 i'm reading from verse 21 in jeremiah 22 32 we're reading from verse 21 it says and has brought forth that people Israel out of the land of Egypt with signs and with wonders. With signs and with wonders. A lot of signs and wonders as they were coming out. Number one, the Lord said, when I see the blood, the blood of the sacrifice of the lamb. And John said, the next day, John saw Jesus coming and he said, behold, the lamb of God that taketh away all the sins of the world. The same thing he did for the children of Israel, signs and wonders it will do for you and with his strong hand and with his stretch out arm with great fellow then verse 27 in verse 27 he tells us behold i am the lord the god of all flesh is there anything too hard for me in your life tonight nothing hard for the lord it will set you free. It will forgive your sin. It will cleanse your heart. It will change your language. It will change your character. Something beautiful will drop in your life tonight. Amen. And the Lord will confirm His great and goodness, His great and good works in your life in Jesus' name. Now, how the siege happen because it will happen to you tonight say it will happen to me tonight look at acts chapter 5 and i'm reading from verse 12 acts chapter 5 verse 12 and by the hands of the apostles what many signs and wonders many signs and wonders multiple signs and wonders distribution of wonders to everyone here tonight i will get my own i i will get my own nothing will take the wonders away from you in jesus name it says by the hand of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people look at verse 14 in verse 14 and believers were the more added to the lord added to the lord added to the lord wonders of salvation miracles of healing and the signs of deliverance coming upon you will not just leave you the way you are it will add you to the lord tonight add you to the lord tonight multitudes both men of men and women there's no gender discrimination today you know sometimes when we give testimonies you have women 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 wonderful but today women men 
men women boys girls girls boys everyone will receive his own how did that happen verse 15 in verse 15 it says in so much that they brought forth the sick into the streets and led them on beds and couches that at the least at the least the shadow of peter passing by might overshadow some of them at the least the shadow of peter uh, they said you don't even have to touch any of them we know the angel will bring the right sign and wonder from heaven where we are of course you will not see the angel you might but you might not you will not see you might you might not see the messenger that is bringing the miracle to you but they said that there's no problem and peter may not come so near as to touch us touch us one by one but all the same i know i'm going to take wonders out of this place tonight shout your amen aloud verse 16 in verse 16 it tells us it says and there came also a multitude out of the cities it's describing who we are and what we've done we've come from you know the alpha location here we've come from all the various villages and all the various cities we've come from even some people have come from neighboring states and it says as they brought a multitude out of the cities round about unto jerusalem bring us sick folks and them which were vexed with unclean spirits and they were healed everyone they came from all over and they came from the surrounding cities and villages and they were healed everyone what does that mean it means you there you there <laughs> look at that direction you there and then at the back there and then all the sound and everywhere you are hearing the voice and you are hearing the preaching now everyone what is the everyone? Everyone. I said everyone. Men and women, fathers and mothers, boys and girls, brothers and sisters, everyone. I must get my own. I have to get my own. Everyone, everyone, thank God he has counted you among everyone. And he has, has counted you come in come in for your miracle come in for the power come in for the salvation and come in for every good thing the lord has packed together in heaven and it's now for you i'm coming to point number three but as i come to number three and since we said everyone I, I could have told you you know this testimony and that testimony you've been hearing but i'm going to you know give you one testimony now and i'm going to allow her to speak he said yes i was part of the everyone this thing took place and this is what i've been going through here is uh, you know a sister a woman a female whatever you like to call her a wife and this this what happened she's called me Mrs. Deborah, and she was diagnosed with having a hole in the heart. Now, when somebody has hole in the heart, it's like she, the heart is the center of the life. And then to walk a little, you have to sit now and to go here and there. There is no strength. But she came to you know the crusade, one of the crusades. GCK, somebody help me shout GCK. <laughs> It will bring miracle in your life, believing in the God of wonders, and she was healed. Like you will be healed, Mrs. Deborah. Let Mrs. Deborah speak to us now and tell us how it happened and what happened. Thank you very much. God bless you. My name is Deborah Momo. I was having and pains in my heart. 
over 21 years. So I've been visiting many hospitals. The last one I went, the uh, endoscope lab that did me said that I have hole in the heart, which have been disturbing me. It caused me a lot of things. I cannot do any strong thing. The case of the woman with hole in the heart, yes, it's one of the uh, septal, either atrial or ventricular septal diseases. Usually a congenital kind of disease, sometimes it can manifest in adults. It could lead to death, actually, and it makes life very uncomfortable to the patient. But I've been praying, believing God, that one day God will see me through. On December 2021, during GCK, with our WF Kumoi, God now remembered me. So after the prayer of man of God, I didn't remember it again. So as, uh, as I, I, I was preparing for December retreat that year, one spirit now said, how about that problem? I believe to look for it. I do not see it again. Like now, I can jump up. So I want to thank God who delivered me. Praise the Lord. You will not remember that bad, that bad thing. I said you will not remember that bad thing anymore in Jesus' name. Now, now, what are you going to remember? Don't answer yet. I'll tell you. What are you going to remember? Because I am going to remember the spectacular miracle of God in my life from now on in Jesus' name. Let me throw in an extra verse, an extra word here. It's in Psalm 77. Psalm 77. And we're looking at verse 11. Here is what I'm going to remember. Psalm 77, verse 11. I will remember the works of the Lord. You'll forget all the woe of the past from tonight. You'll forget all the suffering of the past tonight. Amen. I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember thy wonders of old. Because the same thing God has done for others in all these GCK events. As you remember that, look at that woman. Look at what she said. Look at her problem. You remember all the wonders of the past. That same wonder will come upon your life. Look at verse 12. In verse 12, it tells us, Psalm 77, verse 12, I will meditate also on all thy work. What we meditate on is not on the war, it's not on the suffering, it's not on the problem. We meditate on all thy work and talk of thy doings. Verse 13, in verse 13 it says, Thy way, O God, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great a God? as our God. He's so great and there is no problem he cannot solve. In verse 14, verse 14 says, Thou art the God that doest wonders. He's still doing it today and tonight in your life, it will do it in Jesus' name. <laughs> Thou hast declared thy strength among the people. He's strong is mighty and the way he makes us know that is to demonstrate and to declare and to do those things by his mighty power that's why the war of the past will vanish away the wonders of the present will come your way today and then the work of the lord as you remember what he has done for other people he will do for you. For me. 
Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 it says therefore the Lord himself shall give thee a sign is the sign of all signs is the sign that gives birth to all signs is the wonder that gives birth to all wonders the Lord himself shall give you a sign behold a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name tell me Emmanuel Emmanuel God with us and that power of the Lord in Christ that moved those days that saved people that forgave people that set people free that healed people and that performed wonders that same son of God Emmanuel is there tonight is there by your side He'll wipe all your tears away. He'll change everything that needs to be changed in your life in Jesus' name. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. In Matthew chapter 1, reading from verse 21, and she shall bring forth his son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins his people from their sins are you one of his people i said are you one of his people it will save you from all your sins today look at verse 22 in verse 22 now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the lord spoken of the lord don't forget that don't forget that the prophet said it but it was spoken of the Lord. The preacher said it, but it was spoken by the Lord. The evangelist said it, but don't let that limit your miracle. The evangelist was just the most peace of the Lord, which was spoken by the Lord. Uh, of the Lord by the prophet saying verse 23 in verse 23 behold a virgin shall be our child and shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel which being interpreted is God with us I didn't hear your amen the creator with us the redeemer with us the life changer with us the healer with us the deliverer redeemer with us is there right by your side is the savior by your side there as you indicate i want the salvation of the lord that salvation your own salvation ready made for you from heaven has now come and then as you believe in him your healing ready made from he, uh, from heaven and the deliverance ready made from exactly as you are what will fit you the healing that will fit you tailor made from heaven is for you and tonight you will have that wonder that salvation that healing that miracle that deliverance there tonight where you are in jesus name god with us god with me is by your side is by your side and he looks at your heart now and if you say yes lord i want that salvation you'll get the salvation immediately are you there where are you god bless you i shouldn't say amen to god bless you it's bowed and i closed it's bowed and eyes closed praise the lord whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved shall be saved you are there and you want that salvation of the lord so that he will cancel the woe out of your life the suffering out of your life the transgression out of your life the sinfulness out of your life is there right there now and if you want that woe to be cancelled from your life the woefulness to be cancelled from your life and the condemnation and the guilt and the suffering of all your transgressions you want everything to be cancelled from your
your life, where, wherever you are, raise up that hand and heaven will recognize that you are the one owning that hand and you want forgiveness and salvation. Where are you? Raise up the hand, raise up the hand. Woe is going to be canceled judgment, it's going to be canceled condemnation, it's going to be canceled the accusation of Satan against your life. It's going to be canceled. Raise up that hand if you're raising up your hand. Please stand up and let's pray together so that the woe is cancelled, the judgment is cancelled, and the punishment of sin is cancelled, and you have the salvation of the Lord. Raise up that hand and stand up. God bless you there. God bless you online, wherever you are. You are listening over the radio, over the television, anywhere you find yourself. You're in a congregation in the nation here in Africa, everywhere. Now is the time to raise up that hand and stand up and woe is cancelled out of your life and sin is taken out of your life and iniquity is taken out of your life the Lord is doing it now wherever you are where are you where are you God bless you we're praying now father in the mighty name of Jesus who are God of love a God of mercy a God of compassion and you have said whosoever will call on the name of the Lord will be forgiven will be set free will be saved Lord I pray that you come with your love and mercy compassion save them in Jesus name wipe away all their past sins and wipe away all the woe and the woefulness uh, the uh, woefulness in any life every life in jesus name take the punishment of the iniquity the punishment of their sin take everything away right now in jesus name and i pray that all their transgressions will be forgotten not remembered against them anymore lord i pray you write the names among your children in the book of life in heaven confirm it right now in their heart with the joy of salvation and with righteousness and peace coming with salvation now in every heart every life in jesus name thank you for the salvation thank you for the uh, for the forgiveness and thank you lord for the freedom war is gone condemnation gone now salvation and righteousness are coming thank you lord in jesus name we pray and everybody shout amen please uh, remain standing our counselors are coming to you there and our uh, moderating overseer tonight is coming uh, so that he'll moderate and help us uh, with this counseling period once again god bless every one of you and now our father said god bless you say a big amen, amen. thank you for those who have taken the right decision you're giving your life to the Lord, and we're interested in helping you. Our counselors are there with you. Feel free and give them all the information they ask from you. We are doing that to assist you, to pray for you, to encourage you, and ensure that you remain firm in the faith. So, counselors, please, let's write their names legibly, write in capital letters. Get their names, get their phone numbers, get the address to assist us, help them more. And if you are watching online, I also have decided to surrender your life to Christ. Please look at your screen. There is a link that would draw this right on their screen. Click on that link. A form will drop, and then fill the form and submit the list the, 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 to the link. Fill all your data correctly. We need your name. We need your phone number. As you fill that, you submit. We will assist you. Then if you listen through the radio or television, please take your biro and write this phone number I will mention now. And then you send SMS 
or WhatsApp to this number plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. Let me go through it again. Plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. Send SMS or WhatsApp to this number. Let me still call it again. Plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. And for those who have given their life to Christ, both those who gave their life to Christ yesterday and those who are giving their life tonight, there will be a special meeting tomorrow. We call it Lunch Hour with Jesus. We had one this evening. That's at 3 p.m. And the venue is the pavilion. So tomorrow at 3, please come here and join others in the Lunch Hour Fellowship. Don't miss it. And for all those who gave their life to Christ yesterday and today, we still have what we call banquet on Sunday, 5th of February. If you gave your life online, we also have online banquet on that Sunday. So as you fill the, your details and submit, we'll get back to you and give you detailed information on how the banquet will be. But for those who are resident in Asaba here, the banquet will be on Sunday, 5th February at Deeper Life Headquarters Church, is a name, time, 3 p.m. But if you are from other cities in Delta State, let's say you are from Abo, you are from Umune the side, Eka, you are from Oguashuku, and, and Nyocha North and South, you are from uh, Kuala, Ndokwa East, Ndokwa West, you are from Obiaroko, you are from Abraka, Ethiopia, you are from Ohara, Ethiopia East, you are from Sapele, you are from Isoko, Soko North and South, you are from Bomade, Patani, or you are from Brutu, you are from Udu, you are from Agbaro, you are from Ugeli, north and south. You are from Wari. We shall be having the same uh, banquet here in our headquarters, region headquarters church. Please make yourself available. Cancel us. Please, let's be fast. If you are true, can you indicate? Supervisors, if you are true with the counseling, please, can you indicate? I'm able to see any of the supervisors. Let's be thorough in getting their names. And if you have given your life to Christ, don't allow Satan to cheat you to tell lies and give wrong information. Satan wants you to remain in bondage. But if you have made up your mind, and say, this clean heart God has given to me, this clean tongue God has given to me, I don't want it to be dented. I don't want my heart to be stained again. I don't want to continue with the unclean heart, or clean tongue, unclean character. Don't listen to Satan by telling lies, but give your data to enable us, assist you, and help you stand firm in the Lord. Please cancel us if we are true. Signify. I'm expecting the supervisors. If you are true, indicate. Cancel us. God bless you. You are doing a good job. Let's hasten up. Make sure you write everything correctly. And check, check the phone numbers that they have. 11 digits. 
And once you are true, you give them their package. Others, please be in the mood of prayer, expecting that this night, the God of wonders will meet you at the point of your need. And if the counselors are true with you, they have collected your data, you close your eyes and be praying and say, God, I've got the miracle of salvation. I need another miracle of healing, of deliverance, of breakthrough, of open door. And then if you are here, you have given your life to Christ before, or you're a minister, or you're a worker, but you have a challenge, take it to God in prayer. This is time for you to pray and say, God, don't pass me by. Visit me, Lord. Touch me, Lord. You can also stand in the gap for your brother, for your sister. If you feel you don't have any need, there may be somebody near you who has challenge. It's on the wheelchair. Pray for that individual and say, God, this person here will not remain on this wheelchair. This person here will not remain blind and be looking for somebody to lead him or her. This is the time for you to pray. If you have not given, a, if you are not among the people the counselors are attending to, make sure that you are connecting with heaven. You are talking to God. Either you are praying for yourself or you are praying for one another. Bible says, bear you one another's burden. If you feel there's no challenge, there are some people who have challenge. Carry their burden alongside and assist them. Pray. Counselors, please, if we are true, indicate. I want the supervisors to let me know how far we have gone. Counselors, we are waiting. Okay, I've seen over here. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Others, please indicate. To my right, they are true there. What of the center here? Thank you. God bless you at the back. God bless you. What else? To, to my left, if you are true, indicate. To my left. Those around the pavilion, if you are true, indicate. I love those who are praying. God will not pass you by. Steepy, if you are true, join those who are praying. If they have tended to you, join those who are praying. Raise the tempo of your prayer. Because this night, thank you, at the middle here, I've seen. At the center here, I've seen. God bless you. Towards my left, if you are true, indicate. Supervisors. Thank you. I can see here in the front. God bless you. God bless you. But to my left, I need the supervisors to indicate if they are true. Yes, in front here. Thank you. God bless you. Yes, thank you. God bless you. I've seen. At the back and to my left. Counselors, if you are true, wave. Thank you. I've seen one over there. But to my left here. Counselors, if you are true, can you indicate? Brethren, raise the tempo of your prayer. Let God see your faith. When God sees your faith, he will not ignore your faith. Pray and say, God, this is my night. I am here for wonders. I am here for a miracle. And the Lord will not pass you by. The man of God is ready. Heaven is ready. If you are ready, one will be on your feet and say, Lord, I am ready. Lord, I'm ready. As the man of God, a pastor, a father, the Lord comes, you will get your miracle. Amen. Wonders coming your way. Miracle coming your way. Healing and deliverance for you tonight in Jesus' name. I will not be a spectator. I will not be an onlooker. I will be a partaker. What are you? Coming. Coming. When you hear the final amen, remember the name is Jesus. Still the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. 
and the mention of that name Jesus Emmanuel Savior Redeemer Deliverer something good will drop on your head heaven is ready for you now raise up that hand and then you lay the hand if you can where you have the suffering and healing has come father in jesus name we look up to you now and we trust you're the god that will never fail you remain the same yesterday today and forever and what you've done for other people you've done you've come to do for everyone emmanuel god with us you are with your people you are by the side of everyone there and you are touching everyone now healing everyone now performing wonders in every life now here online over the radio on the television and anywhere we are manifest your power now in jesus name touch those blind eyes blind eyes in the name of jesus be opened those who are deaf and dumb receive your hearing and your speaking in jesus name and those who have any complication in their body in the heart the lungs the livers the kidney any part of the body touch them heal them now in jesus name and lord whatever their problem i pray a divine touch a divine transformation and real definite healing miracle deliverance in jesus name everyone according to your promise all people according to your promise all categories of challenges and woes according to your, according to your promise lord i pray fulfill in every life now let the lame rise up and walk let the blind see let those who have been curable so-called incurable disease be healed now in jesus name everyone 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 right left center at the back over the radio over the television online everywhere demonstration manifestation operation of miracle right now thank you lord thank you lord it is done in jesus name we pray it's done i said it's done check up there your miracle is right there a miracle